Hi guys, what are you doing in here? We're all outside. You'll see nothing in here, the door shut. You're gonna see nothing in here. We're outside taking the AC pump off the charger. Come on, you're gonna miss all the fun. Right, so having got all of the uh, the radiators out, the water pumps off, the belt drives are all off, and uh, it's all fairly partly dismantled at the front of the car. Now the only thing I need to take off is this hose and the thermostat housing that's hidden in there. Now all of that sits behind this big, ugly air conditioning compressor. Now uh, the aircon on this particular car isn't connected at all. So this is just sitting here, taking power and uh, performance away from the car, and of course it weighs about the same as, uh, well, it weighs about the same as a moped engine. So what I'm going to do now is take this off. I had a look online, I had a look in the manual, and I can't actually find an easy way to take it off on its own, other than removing it while it's still attached to the bracket. So if you can see down there, there's a bolt hole just there. Uh, I've taken that one out because that was a, a really awkward one to get to and there's also a bolt hole around the other side which I'll show you here now which is just down there if you can see my fingers the bolt in there and all that's left to take off now is that bolt there and there's a bolt there and there's a bolt there so I'm going to take those two off I've already loosened the fan belts so they're just there to lift off so I'll just get in a position where you can see what I'm doing and then hopefully I'll take those three bolts out and that whole air con sit air pump and the bracket it's attached to is going to come off the front of the car. So I'll just try and get the first fan belt off. Make that a little bit looser, I think. Feels like those possibly were original belts were stuck in there ever so slightly, so they've probably been on here for quite a long time. Let's we'll see what we do with these bolts then. one bolt to come off now, or two bolts I should say.
Now, if this is a job that you're looking to do yourself, the bolts that hold the bracket on, on the top of the engine, are all a 916, so a 14 millimeter. And the two bolts here I'm going to take off, they're the same, they're 916 or 14 millimeter. these two cables here, one's the earth clamp to go to the battery and the other one's the earth clamp that goes from the bodywork of the car to the aircon unit. Just stick them in there so they're going to be okay. Now we'll put them on the other side of the tape out. That's off the front of the car. As you can see, I can get easily to the thermostat housing and get this radiator hose off, which I'll take off now. And then we know that's done. There we are, so that's the old top radiator hose off. And then there's just the thermostat housing to take off, which is probably 14 mil as well, as it is. The thermostat has been bought out. So clear it will be for now. And then we'll put a knock of the hammer, should come off. There we are. Judging by the looks of that, I'm thinking that pretty much would be the original thermostat housing from 1968, well the original thermostat I should say, from 1968. But it doesn't matter because we've got a new one. So a little bit of cleaning up to do. And we're ready to put the new parts back into the car. So just to show what we've done, now I'm going to fit you in position so you can actually see it all here. There you go. So this particular bracket you can see here, that's what was holding the, uh, well, partly holding the aircon pump on, and it goes all the way down here. It's actually bolted in to the same bolt that holds, it's the first hole of the header. So that is to come off, so I'll be taking that off, and then because the bracket isn't going to go back on, I'll just be replacing the bolts into these holes that they came out of. Uh, so I don't lose the bolts, and obviously don't leave anything open that shouldn't be left open and uh, we'll get those all taken care of and then I can reconnect this uh, the spring for the throttle cable 
so that needs to be reconnected back onto this hole here so we'll get that done, we'll put a spacer in to make up the fact that the, the bracket's not there and then obviously that's the entire front end of the engine stripped down for the cooling system so the replacement is going to involve a new thermostat a new upper hose, a new lower hose a new water pump and also a new radiator all to go in together and new fan belts as well, I'm not putting these ones back on because as you can probably see they look a bit old and aged a little bit starting to free a little bit on the edges and by the looks of it and how, e how difficult they were to get off they've probably been on here since 1968 so we'll give everything a bit of a dry up and a bit of a clean down and then uh, we'll start getting the, the rest of everything back together once everything's cleaned and taken care of around here we'll get all the old gaskets and everything off but as you can see without the fuel con uh, the air con pump on there it gives much more space it's going to look like a much better tidier engine when it's all sorted out when it's all done and of course now the air con pump is off the car completely you can maybe get to see the true size of it it is absolutely massive it's huge it's not connected it was never been connected it hasn't worked since i bought the car uh, back in 2005 and it's unsightly and it weighs about the same as a more uh, a scooter engine or a moped engine so that's come off that's not going back on i don't need it there's no condenser on the front of the radiator, there's no pipe works being connected up to this so my icon, air, air con has never worked so I'm, I don't need this um, so I'm just going to leave it off I mean, the front end of the car that little bit lighter hopefully get another 2.47 horsepower out of the fact that we haven't got this on anymore so now that the entire front end is stripped off of all the cooling system obviously I've blocked off the thermostat housing and the water pump housing with uh, just a bit of uh, paper tissue so no bits fall into it and now a small amount of clean up I'm going to clean obviously this gasket off from around the thermostat housing and the same from around that water pump housing as well so I'll, uh, I'm not subject you to the boredom of that all I'm going to be using is uh, a knife blade so it's literally just a pen knife with, uh, with the blade on like that quite a flexible blade as well just so I can get around and scrape everything off and then we'll clean all that up and that'll be ready for the new water pump and the new thermostat uh, well the, th replay the thermostat house and go back on with the new thermostat in it just a quick update on the aircon pump when it did come off the car um i would have liked to have taken it off the car the way it was the way it sits at the moment but as i said in the video um i couldn't work out how to get it off the car there's no way there seem to be any way of getting to the bolts that actually hold, held it on to the bracket so i took it off complete with the bracket now after i taken off and I brought it into the garage I did discover the way of getting it off and I had another read through the manual and apparently the way to bring it off is to take this pulley off now, you need a puller um, obviously in the manual it says that you need the, the proper puller with a part number however all I did I just used a small puller that I've got took that bolt out the middle and uh, got the puller on that I've got on the edges of this pulley here and then once you tighten the pull up and it came off once you do that I can just turn this around a bit once you do that you may be able to see down there let me just point to it because the light's not perfect in here so if I can find a way of keeping that level for a minute there we are. now from here you should be able to see there's a bolt just there trying to get the, the light into it but just down in there there's a bolt there there was three of them all together there's one there there's one underneath the pulley and there's one on this side here actually behind the pulley so i took the pulley off the front of it and uh, you still can't get complete access to the bolts so you can take the bolts all the way out but you can't get them loosened off as you can see if i move the thing as you can see that's loose so all I did was uh, loosen the bolts off until that's them on the back there so as I said there's there's one there there's one there and there's another one over there now there's only the three of them but once they were loosened off as you can see that uh, gave me the ability of taking it off the bracket bolt together and keeping the bracket for use maybe to a later date on uh, on something else so it does come off and um, you do need a bit of a puller 
to uh, to get it off with. Uh, you don't need to have the one that's in, in the manual or the part number. You can just use any three-legged puller, uh, which I did at the time. And then, of course, once it was off the bracket, it was simply a case of putting the pulley back on, tightening that bolt up back there in the middle, and then it's all back together. Um, I have no idea whether this air pump works or if it has a, a fault to it, because as I say, all the lines have been capped off in all places, and it's never been connected on the car as long as I've had, as long as I've owned it. So it was just a dead weight on the car, which is why I took it off, and it made it look ugly when you opened the bonnet as well. That's it then. That's all the cooling system taken off the front of the car, and uh, it's all sorted out, ready to start putting the new shiny bits on. So that'll be in the next part. So uh, thanks for joining us on uh, Double Zero Garage this time round to see the removal of the aircon pump and uh, look forward to seeing you in part three when we put everything back on and hopefully we'll get the car up and running and we'll be able to take it out for a drive.